Okay, this video will demonstrate how to build and measure a parallel circuit using the circuit box here. So first off, we'll show the resistance of our resistors. Set the meter to ohms, leads in the appropriate positions. And each of these resistors is isolated. So there's 4.75K. Second resistor, 1980, so that's a 2000 ohm resistor. Third resistor, 1005, that's our 1000 ohm resistor. And the fourth resistor is 3.27K, so that's our 3300 ohm resistor. In order to build the circuit, each one of these resistors, one end is going to be on the positive side. The other end is going to be in the negative side. And we build them, put them in the slots diagonally. That'll make them easier to measure. All right, at this point, we can take our two wires, our positive and negative leads, put them in the positive and negative strips, and now we can measure total resistance. So the total resistance here is 494, all right? So our parallel circuit rule says that total resistance is lower than the lowest resistive branch 494 is definitely lower than the lowest 1000 ohm resistor that we have. Okay, so the circuit calls for using 8 volts. So I'm going to put my leads in my power supply there, change my meter to measure voltage, DC volts, and check what I'm getting. Got 8.9, I'll back that down just a little. Eight point four will do. Okay. So now we'll power the circuit up by putting my positive and negative wires to the positive and negative strips on the board. Okay, so now we can measure voltage drop of each uh, resistor. And the rule here says that each branch drops source voltage so each one of these resistors should drop the 8.4 volts that I powered the circuit up with. Okay, and they do. Okay, now to measure current through each branch of the circuit. I've already calculated this circuit. I know that the current through every branch and the total current through the circuit is less than 300 milliamps, so I'm not going to mess with the 10 amp circuit or the 10 amp spot on the fuse. Start with total amperage. I'm going to break the circuit. I've broke, removed the ground wire because that spot is common to all four resistors there, all four branches of this parallel circuit. I've inserted my spare wire into the exact same spot that I removed the negative from and go from one lead to the next and I've got 15.07 milliamps okay got the negative lead or the negative symbol showing up but we're DC volts so we pretty much just ignore that if it really bugs you switch your leads around and now we got 15.07 so that would be our total current Get the circuit back together. All right, to measure current through each individual resistor, 
for each individual branch. You just break the circuit, pull one resistor up, and I've pulled and removed it from the negative side. Put my spare wire in the negative side and go from the resistor to the spare wire, 1.73 milliamps. And I'm going to do this for all of the resistors. keep my circuit together it will work all right four milliamps on the second resistor Eight milliamps on the third. And two and a half on the last. And if we take all those numbers from each individual resistor and add them up, they should add up to our total current. Okay. So that's our current rule for, this, for the parallel circuit. Right. Current of each branch adds up to total current. 